If you want to improve your pronunciation skills, this video is for you. Do not skip it. Hi, what's this? I am so excited to be here today. I'm so excited to finally show my face. <laughs> I know this is quite funny. For the past few years, I've been making videos on YouTube without showing my face. Okay, yeah, you have it. <laughs> so today, we're going to discuss English pronunciation and I'll be giving you a few tips that has helped me and is still helping me in this pronunciation journey because it is a journey. It's a journey that is ongoing and will keep going on. I am Samantha Lazarus by the way and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's dive into it. The first tip on our list today is relax. Speak at your pace. Speak at your pace. You do not need to rush when you're trying to speak and you do not need to be slow. I need to make this clear. Speaking fast or speaking fastly is not synonymous with proper pronunciation. This clear. Speaking fastly is not the same as fluency. When you say you're fluent, it doesn't mean you have to speak so fast. The essence of communication is for people to understand what you're saying. It's for people to have an idea of what you're trying to pass across. And most of the time, if you speak so fast, it will be difficult for the people listening to you to actually understand what you're trying to say. So what am I trying to say in essence? You don't have to rush. You don't have to rush. You don't have to be too slow. Know your pace and stick with it. If you know that you're someone who tends to speak very fast, try to work on your timing. Try to work on your intonation. Try to work on your speed. Because when you speak extremely fast, it will be difficult for the people listening to you to keep up with what you're saying. You have to put it in mind that your listener may not be a fast listener. Or let me say, your listener may not understand words that are spoken very fastly or your, your listener may not be someone who can keep up with people who speak so fast so you need to find a suitable pace and to work with it you don't have to speak too fast and you don't have to speak too slow know what works for you and stick with it i know that at times there's this form of consciousness that comes into us and we feel like oh i'm scared when, you, when we get nervous sometimes we tend to speak so fast so you have to put it in check put it in check speak at your pace be relaxed yeah relax that is the force that is the point relax speak at your pace when you speak at your pace people would understand what you're trying to say people would enjoy the conversation because conversations that are one-sided might not give out the intended message so you have to speak at your pace you relax and make sure that the way you are speaking the person listening to you can keep up with it that is the first point moving on to the second point we have your accent is valid okay okay let me quickly share my story I started out on the online space in 2020 and I used to run away from speaking publicly because as a Yoruba girl, I had this intonation or let me say I had this accent that affects the way I speak. I don't speak, I don't speak at this pace before. I tend to speak so fast and I'll speak, I would um, shout, I practically shout at times when I speak. But now look at me, I am still a work in progress i am still on the journey but i am better than who i was in the past and what has helped me i have learned to embrace my accent now i need you to understand that nigerian accent is one of the most loved english accents in the world be it Awusa accent, be it Igbo accent, be it Yoruba accent, be it um, the Middle Belt accent. Nigerians, when we speak, we have a way of 
projecting our words in a clear manner imagine you're listening to me and you can hear what i'm saying it's clear you don't have to say repeat what you've said please can you go over that again that is the goal the goal is to speak clearly for people to understand you need to identify your goal what is your goal the goal is to speak right without imitations i have seen so many coaches saying you have to imitate the britons the americans you have to imitate fine you can refine your accent through imitation but you don't have to dwell on the imitation that is where the problem occurs a lot of people when they follow through the imitation process you started imitating the uh, the britons you started imitating the americans fine if you want to improve your pronunciation through imitation you have to be careful so that you do not lose your accent because at the end of the day, it will boil down to you. When you speak in conference, I have attended conferences where people speak. I, I hear people speak and I'm so impressed. They are speaking Nigerian accents and it is clear. A typical example is Madame Shafi Belo. Shafi Belo. She's an actress and the way she speaks, I love the way this woman speaks. She does, She's not speaking She's not imitating the Britons or the Americans. She's speaking a typical Nigerian English accent that is clear and easy to understand. So what is the goal? The goal is to communicate your ideas clearly without ambiguity. So please improve your accent. Learn the correct pronunciation of words. When you learn the correct pronunciation of words, your accent will improve itself. So learn the correct pronunciation of words. Don't say, I want to imitate. Because at the end of the day, when you imitate, you might get lost in the seas of imitations. The third point, learn the high PA. What is the high PA? The International Phonetics Alphabet. In my last video, I explained the vowel sounds and the consonant sounds. Of the vowel sounds and the consonant sounds so if you want to improve your english pronunciation skills you have to put into consideration the ipa learn the ways our vowel sounds are made then the ways our consonant sounds are made learn the proper articulation of the vowel sounds and the consonant sounds because at the end of the day you're going to add vowel sound the vowel sound the vowel sounds with consonant sounds to form words so when you learn the basic sounds individually when it is time for you to join them to form words it will be easier for you to articulate or pronounce that word learn the manners of articulation the place of articulation the shape of the mouth the shape of the lips rather the shape of the tongue in your pronunciation learn how different organs contribute to the pronunciation or the articulation of different sounds so when you learn that when you want to speak or when you want to pronounce a word you know that okay fine if i want to say that i would i would i need to just as i did i need to bring out my tongue i need to do this i need to do that which will help you to pronounce your words properly the fourth point be intentional in this journey intentionality is key because the spirit is willing but the flesh wants what it wants the spirit is willing but the flesh wants what it wants so you need to be intentional about your growth you need to be intentional about your pronunciation skills you need to say it within yourself I want to grow. I want to improve my pronunciation skills. As I stated earlier, when I started out online, my pronunciation was bad. I had to intentionally decide to improve it. I paid for courses, the ones that worked out, the ones that didn't work out. I paid for courses in Naira, in Dollar. <laughs> the me you are seeing now, although I am still a work in progress as I've stated, I am better than who I was. So intentionality will play a key role. It will play 
a strong and important role in your journey because there are some days you feel so sad there are some days you make mistakes and people will laugh at you that what is what is he saying why do you pronounce this words like like that if you let those kind of comments get to you you're going to lose it trust me people will bully you people will come around and tell you there is that so please you have to be intentional today i had the opportunity to be amongst some creators and we're having a discussion i was told to speak and when i um, unmuted myself to speak one person noted in the comment section i'm going to attach that to this video that i love your voice it's so cool so you can imagine i didn't mean i let those malicious comments or those bad comments get to me then will i be here today will i be here to receive comments from people that i am doing well so what am i trying to say in essence the comments will come the negative comments will come the positive comments will come and what you need to do is to embrace the positive comments and let go of the negative comments the negative comments has nothing on you because at the end of the day it has to do with you and you alone to the fifth point it takes time it takes time it takes time do not have the notion or the mind that I, I need to improve my pronunciation in two months i need to improve my pronunciation in one month no you can't do it in one month you can't do it in two months it will take time you can set realistic goals that within a year within a year and a half within six months i can do this don't say that within a month no okay fine you can improve it to an extent but <laughs> this is this present state that you are You've been in this state for years. You've been speaking this way for years. Your your brain, your system, your mind has been programmed to follow suit this way of speaking. Now you want to change that within a month. I hope you understand my illustration. So it cannot change within a month. You can see um, changes, but the changes might not be so huge. It's, they might not be so evident. So it takes time give yourself time don't be too hard on yourself don't be too hard on yourself dear wordsmith don't be too hard on yourself please i am begging you don't be too hard on yourself you would get there with resilience with consistency and with time you're going to get there do not be too hard on yourself number six practice pronunciation daily Set a time frame for yourself today or daily. I'm going to practice pronunciation five times. I'm going to practice pronunciation 10 times. Now, this is a tip that will help you to stick with that. Don't put your practice period at um, during your work hours. You know when you'll be busy. Do not practice during that time. You would not be focused because there is, apart from practicing, focusing also matters. When, you, when you're focused, it will help you to get results. If you just keep on practicing without being focused, you would get no results. So please put the time, your, your practice period at a moment or at a time frame that you will be chanced. It might be after your morning prayers, your brain is still fresh, no problem. You can do it. And if you, can't, if you, do, if you do not have the time during your morning prayers, you can put it at maybe before your bedtime or any other time you'll be free during the day finally our seventh point which is maximize pronouncing haps we have different pronunciation haps online like yobimi that can help you to practice pronunciation these apps helped me when i was um, trying to improve my pronunciation as well I paid for some in dollars. I don't even know <laughs> the price of um, one of the apps I used then. It was around $50, I can't recall, per year. Was it per year or per month? I can't really recall now. I don't know if it's monthly or yearly. So what I'm just trying to say is that make use of pronunciation hubs. And this one that I spoke about now is quite expensive. So I'll be giving you the free one, which is pronunciation by yobimi download pronunciation by yobimi it will give you different words 
they will pronounce it for you and you would also be chance to pronounce alongside the hey hi and that is all for today i hope this video is helpful please leave a comment for me in the comment section did you enjoy the video did you learn from the video and do not forget to share this video subscribe and keep it up with me for the next video bye